Department of Physics at UVA is students, faculty, and staff working together to create new knowledge and to prepare the next generation of scientists who can serve the world. The mission of our department is twofold. First, we want to help develop a better understanding of the universe by studying physical behaviors that span many, many orders of magnitude in time, space, and energy. The second part of our mission is to provide excellent and really the finest training, education, and research opportunities for our students, both graduate and undergraduate. The physics department has active and strong research areas in atomic, molecular, and optical physics, condensed matter physics, nuclear and particle physics, high energy physics, as well as programs in astrophysics and cosmology, biophysics, and mathematical and statistical physics. The beauty of condensed matter is that uh, there's lots of complexity and many, many effects that are very intricate and arise because of uh, interaction between particles. My research spans a variety of topics, starting from uh, interactions between radiation and matter uh, through the Casimir effect, quantum effects in uh, condensed matter, entanglement, phase transitions. Some of the things we are doing are cutting edge and require a lot of new math and collaborations with people that do other types of physics or math. Condensed matter is kind of a focal point because it, it's a test bed for many, many of the ideas there. In high energy and particle physics, we test the universe or try to understand the universe on the tiniest length scales. And in order to access those tiny length scales, we have to harness the highest energy scales that are available to us that we can create in the lab. And so we do this in order to understand our world and uncover the answers to some of the most uh, important mysteries of the universe that are confronting us today. What excites me the most is that uh, myself and my students, we have a chance to help contribute to humankind's understanding to these big fundamental questions. And we get to do that using some of the most significant scientific endeavors that humankind's ever made. So for instance, working at the Large Hadron Collider, looking at particle collisions at the highest energies mankind has ever created, trying to search for new forms of matter that would help us answer these questions that we have, these fundamental questions. So I do my research um, at Jefferson Lab, and I use the uh, electron accelerator there to study the subatomic structure of matter, to study how these quarks and gluons form the mass and momentum or energy and the spin of the protons and neutrons. So in turn, these kind of data also help us to understand the theory of the strong interaction, quantum homodynamics, or QCD. We also study parity violation in electron scattering. So by measuring parity violation in electron scattering, we can actually study the standard model of uh, particle physics, or even set constraints on new physics beyond the standard model. Even though we still call it a nuclear physics, but in reality, it is actually more merged towards a high energy and particle physics. So we can call it nuclear and particle physics in the medium energy regime. This new group of astrophysics, gravity, and cosmology in the department focuses on probing fundamental physics using gravity. What we do is to use these gravitational waves to probe, uh, let's say, whether general relativity is uh, the correct gravitational theory or not, whether we can establish unified theory or theory for everything, and also uh, we are interested in probing nuclear matter nature um, using gravitational waves. Outside of the department, we collaborated with the professors in astro department to say something about nature of compact object up in our universe. And we also collaborate with uh, people in National Radio Astronomy Observatory. So that's why we can compete against big universities and then we can come up with uh, very unique ideas that are difficult to come up with otherwise. Having this strong collaboration among different departments of observatory effectively increases the size of our departments. So what sets us apart at UVA is that we're a medium-sized department. We can provide students with a lot of personal attention, but at the same time, world-class research opportunities, both because we have smaller groups that are operating on focus projects, but also through collaborations uh, that extend both among faculty within the department, faculty across the university, and faculty uh, and other scientists in uh, universities around the world, as well as national laboratories and industrial partners. What I really want to see is that everyone coming here, regardless of their background or their gender, 
that they can feel, uh, first of all, comfortable studying here, and second of all, uh, feel being nurtured, that we really care about their education, and thirdly, they should feel empowered through studying here. My experience at the department here has been really good. I came here as a bridge program student, so my undergraduate preparation was kind of non-traditional um, in, in preparing me for a physics PhD program, and so it's had its challenges, but overall it's been very positive. I feel like I've learned a lot. It's been a very rewarding um, opportunity for me um, to pursue my PhD here. And I love the Charlottesville area. The town that UVA is in is really nice. So what I expect for the department in the coming years is continued interest in curiosity-driven research to solve fundamental problems, and also to extend that research into applications through collaborations with engineers and technology experts. Thank you.